gentleman right here.
much. It's really a pleasure to be here. All right. Uh, we're going to talk about entrance in a second, but let me introduce the players to you. Right, Mr. No Lokimoto on drums. Right. <laughs> Dean Taba on the bass. That's an upright right bass. And playing your beautiful piano that belongs to this organization, Mr. Tommy James. Right. <laughs> so we figured we'd come here today and we'd like to introduce the jazz to all of you. It's an improvisatory music. Um, it's based on songs, you know, playing through, basically playing through a song and then what we call improvising. We create other melodies and other rhythms using the same song. Uh, also want to talk about instruments. So, well, as you know, if you don't know, this is a drum set, right? And these are all acoustic, what we call acoustical instruments. They're all, you know, you have to actually play them and have some kind of skill to get them to create sounds on them, right? So we have the drum set and an upright bass, right? piano. And this little thing here is called a piccolo, right? It's part of the flute plant family, excuse me. I think most of you are probably used to seeing a flute, and a flute looks like this, right? We'll play a little something on this a little later so you can hear it, right? But I started the concert playing this. Who can tell me what this is? Oh! Trumpet? Oh, <laughs> close. It's made of metal, right? It has a bell on it. What's that? <laughs> okay. Saxophone. That's what it, this is. Okay. You know what member of the family this is? Is it a brass or a woodwind family? Okay. It's major brass, but it's a woodwind because of the reed. Okay. Like flutes. Well, this one kind of you know it's pretty obvious. This is made from wood. So flutes originally made from a reed, right? A piece of grass or a piece of bamboo. So it's considered a wood wind, right? Um, see, this is a regular common flute that you would probably play in band. These instruments at one time were made of wood, right? So this is all part of the wood wind family, right? All right, so um, you guys want to talk about your instruments? Or should we play a little bit more? Or? Mm -hmm. Anything? Yeah? Okay. We can. We talk instruments and then maybe move on a little bit. Okay. okay. You want to talk about sure. drums? Sure, absolutely. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, Mr. Wan mentioned that this is a drum set. Okay. The drum set is uh, part of the percussion instrument, a fa uh, family of instruments. So, and percussion instruments are any instrument that you hit, strike it with a mallet or a stick. Or sometimes your hand. Conga drums are played with your hand. Um, that, and the drum set is interesting because it's a, it's an American instrument. Although a lot of these instruments, the components of the drum set have been around for a long time and were used in other countries, like in Europe or in Africa. So they're one of the oldest instruments. But in this configuration, the drum set is an American dictionary, which is really neat, really cool. So the big drum here is called the bass drum. It's the big, largest drum of the family. And you play it with a pedal. I don't think you, you can all see the pedal, but. So you play the pedal with your foot. So that's the bass drum, okay? Um, so that's the largest drum. The next. In size, this is the next largest drum. And these two drums here, this one and this one, are called tom-tom. Yeah. So, so tom-toms come in different sizes. Sometimes they're really small, and they get even larger than this. And you can have as many tom-toms as you want. I'm sure you've seen on television drummers that have really large drum sets. So, and usually it's because they have more toms. So they'll have, you know, six or eight toms. And sometimes more than one bass drum. Now, this instrument is the snare drum. 
Okay? This is the snare drum. And the snare drum is different from the tom tom because it has these metal wires underneath. And then it has this lever here on the side. And if you if you turn the lever off, then it sounds like a tom tom. Um, when you turn the lever on, then it brings the wire snares up against the bottom end, and then it sounds like this. So it sounds okay, so it has that sound. Um, and these are the cymbals. And this is, the cymbals come in different sizes and different weights or thicknesses. So this is a ride cymbal, and generally you play it like this. It also has a bell. This is actually also a ride cymbal, though it's a little bit smaller. And you can play it the same way. You can play the bell. But you can also crash this cymbal. And when you crash a cymbal, what, what happens is you play it with this part of the stick and you hit the edge and it creates this pretty loud crash sound. <laughs> and usually you hit it with, with the bass drum. And this is actually also a right cymbal too, but it's also, um, you can do the same thing. But I have this small cymbal on the top of it and its cymbal is upside down, but this is a splash cymbal very small in diameter and very thin. And this, these are the hi-hat cymbals. So it's on a pedal, on a stand. Or you can play with the stick. Okay. And then I have a calm down. So that's the drum sound. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Noel. Great. Thank All right. You. Maybe I'll come forward a little bit so you can see. This is a string bass. It has a lot of different names. Sometimes it's called a double bass. Sometimes it's called an acoustic bass. Sometimes it's called um, string bass, double bass, uh, contra bass. Um, sometimes they call it the dog house because <laughs> it looks kind of like a, it's a lot of wood. But um, the string bass is, one of the ways it's different from the drums is it's a very soft instrument. It's, it's just naturally very soft. And you'll see people make, play notes on it two different ways. One would be with a bow, just like how they play a violin or a cello. You can play with a bow on the string bass. Right? But... Um, in, in jazz, mostly we play what they call pizzicato, which means I pluck the strings with my finger. Now you can hear how soft it is compared to the drum set. So when I'm playing with the drum set, I do have a pickup on the bass that amplifies the sound. So it can be loud enough to be heard with the drums. How the bass functions in in any kind of music is we're the, we're the bottom, we're the foundation of the group. So we play the low notes, like that last song we played, I played. That was my part on that last song. But what I play will, will vary depending on what song and what style we'll play. For example, we'll play a more traditional jazz song later, and it has something what we call a walking bass line where I'm, I'm playing this part, but it's, it's more like. But I'm, I'm making up my own part as I go along and I'm following the, the form of the song, but that's a string bass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody know what this is? Uh, actually, it's called piano forte. That's because you can play it loud and you can play it soft. Piano means soft and forte means. I'm still trying to figure out 
whether if this is a string instrument or if it's a percussion instrument because it actually has 230 strings in there all together. And uh, so it's got 238, 230 strings, but at the same time, you strike the piano so that it makes it like a percussion instrument. Anyway, you guys all know what it sounds like. And what I do essentially is the same thing. I hang out with Dean when the solos are happening. We kind of follow the form of the tune, Noel, Dean, and I. And we hope that the horn player doesn't get lost, <laughs> <laughs> which does happen from the time. Or, or even, even worse, yeah. the rhythm section, us guys don't get lost. So we got to kind of like, it, it, it happens. Happen. So we got to kind of like, you know, keep conscious about what's going on around us. So we're not just, just flapping our wings there. We're kind of like staying aware of what's going, going on around us. Hopefully, at the end of it, it'll be something that you all like to hear. You know what I mean? Anyway. That's the piano. You all know what it sounds like. Try to get to play one if you can. They're a lot of fun. We all do that. Good to see you all. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, so you guys got a basic int introduction into all the instruments that we have up here. So now that you're more aware of what it, each instrument does, let's see if you guys can follow along. We're going to introduce the instruments sort of one by one on this on this next piece, right? Let's do four times.
Thank you. So I, I hope you guys could uh, sort of like pay attention to when each instrument came in, right? We started with the bass, and then I joined the bass on the saxophone, and then Noel came in on the drum, and then finally Tommy joined us. So you saw how we layered, you know, each person's entrance in to sort of make this whole effect, right? To make the sound work. Okay. Um, should we just go pure improvisation and play? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let me get the name. You guys are gonna like this. No one's gonna come up here and um, <laughs> we're gonna explain this cool instrument to you guys. <laughs> It looks like a. <laughs> it looks like a whoopie pie. Yeah, it looks like a flying saucer. <laughs> well, this is a. Uh, the name of the instrument is uh, a Rav, R A V, like a Toyota Rav. Rav Vast, V A S T, and it, it's a instrument made in in Europe, and. The type of instrument it is, it's called a tongue drum. Um, so uh, you see these little cutouts here? These all kind of la laser cut. And, and I guess they can tune, tune each one. So it creates a different note, a different pitch. Um, tongue, tongue drums are, I think, traditionally made out of wood. So it looks like a bread, like a loaf of bread, and then they would cut the little slits out on the top, and then you get all these different notes, you know. But someone decided to try it with metal, so this is made out of steel, and it's a pretty unique sound. So we're going to just improvise. In other words, we're going to just make something up. Um, because this has, um, let's see, one, one. That's all the notes I have. And Tommy has, how many notes? <laughs> I have more to get 88. 88 notes, okay. <laughs> and so I, I can only play the few notes that I have here. So it's limited, but it's also tuned to a scale. In other words, predetermined scale. And, and you, you can just improvise on this and actually not play a wrong note. So yeah, we're just gonna improvise.
try this. And you guys go, okay, you start and see where we're going. You know? I mean, how many of you guys actually do that? I mean, when you're a little older, it's a little harder. You know, you want a little bit more sophistication, you know? You want something. But yeah, you ever think about when you're younger and that you guys hang out and it's like, man, you guys can go any place, right? Yeah? It gets more interesting when you get, you know, some food and some sodas or something like that and you kind of make a picnic out of it. That's kind of I like. <laughs> but jazz to me, that kind of improvisational music is really fun because it sort of frees your mind to a lot of different things. It, uh, you're cooperating with one another. You listen to one another. Like what, what is required, aside from the scale of playing an instrument, is that we're all listening to each other. It's very, very important. Like you know, oftentimes I'm sure your teachers or your parents will tell you, oh, you know, you guys got to be quiet. You gotta, guys got to listen to me and whatnot. Well, in music, it's the same thing. We all listen to each other, and then we answer in a musical kind of talk, depending on which instrument we happen to be playing. So let's try something. Um, um, I think you guys are pretty hip already in um, sort of seeing, you know, understanding the, the various instruments. But let's let's go one further. Let's uh, let's just do a simple thing with, with, with ahi ahi. Mm -hmm. Good. I, I want every, everybody in the in the band's going to play the melody at one point or another, right? We're going to play it like a normal song, right? There's an intro, then I play the melody, and maybe there'll be some improvisation. But at a certain point, I want to have everybody play the melody so you can hear what the melody sounds like on another instrument, right? So it's like different personalities. If you're talking to your friends and whatnot, right? Everybody has something to say. Everybody says it in a unique kind of way, right? With their own voice, colored with their own outlook on what they've been going through that day or week or whatever. Right. So we're going to do this with, with uh, like a little ori a original tune that I wrote. I was living on the mainland, and maybe you guys will hear it in the in the in the melody. Um, I lived on the mainland for a really, 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 really long time, like 40 years. That's a long time. And where I was, there was snow. <laughs> How many of you guys seen snow, for real? Oh, oh, quite a few of you guys, all right. You guys like snow? Yeah? yeah? How many of you guys like snow? Really? You don't like snow? I, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> I like to be warm. I like to wear rubber slippers or shorts. What's that? <laughs> okay, well anyway, I had to be really homesick this one day. I was looking out my window and it was snowing. I thought, boy, I really don't want to be here. I want to be back home, you know, where it's warm. You know, walking a beach or, you know, hanging out with my fishing pole and trying to catch something, you know. And this song just came to me, you know. Like, like you write, like, how many of you write, like, words, poetry? Ah, fantastic. Okay, we've got quite a few writers here, right? So where did those ideas come from? They sort of, exactly, right? They're all running around in your brain someplace. They get, you mean you see a tree, or you see kids playing, your friends playing, or it, it can be influenced by anything. Clouds, the wind, you hear the wind moving through the trees, right? It can be influenced by anything. So for me, this inspiration came when I was really homesick, looking out my window, and it was snowing. It was really snowing. And this tune just reminded me um, of hanging out with my family and friends. The sun is going down like it is now. In the afternoon, we're all hanging out at the beach. We all got something to eat, and everybody's relaxed. And people are coming in and saying hi at the end of the day, and stuff like that. So that's the kind of vibe. That's the kind of feeling that I tried to create with this song.
but maybe you'll relate. Oh yeah, I remember what that old guy was talking about. <laughs> Being homesick, you know, missing Hawaiian food and your friends and the warm weather. You know, the beach, on the beach. Uh, shall we play A Train? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You can play A Train and close with I Play. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna do a, more of like when you think of a jazz. Jazz tune or, or jazz group like this. You think more of a, like this next thing that we're going to be playing. This is written by um, I think Billy Strayhorn wrote this, right? Yeah, that's Billy Strayhorn and Duke Ellington were uh, like a matched pair. They were both composers. Duke Ellington had the famous band. Duke um, Billy Strayhorn was one of the great great composers and orchestrators that also wrote with Duke Ellington. And he penned this song. It's called Take the A Train. Now, you guys don't know this, but the A train, there's something called subways. When you live in New York, you take subways to get anywhere, cross town, uptown, downtown, you know? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you're underground and above ground, right? What is, in Chicago, they call it elevated, right? What do we call it in New York when it got above ground? The L. The L. The E-L. The L. Like the Right, right. We call it like elevators. Mm -hmm. So we call it the L. Yeah. So but yeah, it's called but the L. In, 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 in Queens and in the Queens and the Bronx. Right. Mm -hmm. So in two areas, the Queens and the Bronx, the uh, subway mm -hmm. from underground, it goes above ground. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So anyway, the A train is the longest line. You know, it's like going from, it's like going from here to like Hawaii Kai or something. You know, it's like the longest one possible on one subway line. You can stay on it for like, what, 45 minutes or something? Longer? Longer? Yeah, you can stay on the A train probably like an hour and a half. You can go from Leopards all the way up to 237th Street. Okay. Probably an hour and a half. You know, Tommy grew up in New York. I only visited for 40 years. Tommy actually lived there. <laughs> I, 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 no, I, actually, I actually lived on the A train. On, on the A train oh, stop. Okay. It is a very long ride. And JFK. That's right. I keep flying back to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so we'll play this famous tune. It's called Take the A Train.
So because it's a, th well, first of all, thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you to your director. Crystal, for Andy Crystal for having us come out and play for you guys. It's been a real pleasure to share our music with you and to and hopefully, you know, if you guys know what these different instruments are, what they can do. Yeah. And this is just a small part of what they can do. This is just one aspect. This is only an hour. You know, this takes a lifetime to do. You know, and all four of us here have spent most of our lifetimes investigating our instruments. Because we got these cool beats, and it is. Does anybody know what day this is today? That's right, Matt is it? Right, so who knows what tomorrow is? Ash Wednesday. So today's the party day, right? And tomorrow we all gotta be good. We're gonna be good tomorrow. Anyway, you guys are good all of us. So we're gonna play a party tune from the area, from New Orleans, okay? This is where I guess this tradition came from. So it's called Aiko Aiko, and we're gonna go out on this tune. We wanna just thank you on behalf of Tommy James on piano, right? Dean Taba on the bass, Noel Kimono on drums, and myself, Alan Wan on saxophone. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for being such a great audience and listening, okay?
Tommy James, thank you again.